Okay, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Derwood Parkinson. I'm at, serving as uh, moderator today. Uh, we're going to uh, conduct business using the uh, main rules of parliamentary, uh, main moderator's rules, and a uh, couple housekeeping items to start. Uh, one is, uh, you're welcome to speak once the motion's been made and seconded. Come forward, use the microphone, identify yourself and, and your address, um, and you'll be heard you know, one at a time. I'll, I'll call you forward when you raise your hand. Uh, secondly, as a, a another housekeeping matter is for we, us to have a vote authorizing non-residents to speak. And what I mean by non-residents is usually members of the staff who do not live in Kennebunkport. They may need to, or you may want them to weigh in on particular issues. So does somebody want to make a motion to allow non-residents to speak? Thank you. Is there a motion has been made and seconded to allow non-residents to speak at this town meeting. Is there any discussion on that? Seeing none, all in favor signify by raising your blue cards. Thank you. Uh, all opposed? Uh, the, the motion is passed. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, we're going to um, move forward with Article 5. Uh, and you all have the information in front of you. Hopefully you've had the opportunity to review it and think about it. Um, and Article 5 is to see what sum the town will vote to raise and appropriate for general government program expenses. And the amount requested is 2, 313 no, Don't we need to start with Article 2? Oh, hold on here. I thought we voted on that referendum. The referendum we voted on, right? Oh, that's right. Is that the rain? Hold on. Okay. You could put the volume up. All right. Okay. Well, we're going to get this straightened out. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, I was going straight to the money articles. Let's start with Article 2. Uh, to see if the town will approve the following, authorizing the treasurer uh, with advice and approval of the municipal officers to sell and dispose of real estate. Uh, to uh, be to authorize the town treasurer with the uh, advice and approval of the municipal officers to waive and foreclose on any tax lien mortgage. C, to make any and all uh, property taxes due and payable upon presentation of bills. D, uh, to set the interest rate. And E, to see if the town will vote to authorize the tax collector to enter into a standard agreement with the taxpayers, establishing a tax club. Everybody see Article 2? Is there a motion to approve Article 2? Mr. Moderator, I move to accept Article 2 as written. A second. Okay, motion has been made and seconded to approve Article 2. Is there discussion on Article 2? Uh, seeing none, all in favor of Article 2, signify by raising your cards. Thank you very much. Uh, all opposed? Article 2 is passed. Uh, Article 3, uh, to see if the town will vote to approve the following, to authorize the selectmen to pay uh, for abatements and applicable inter interest uh, granted during the fiscal year 2023-2024 uh, from overlay. Authorize B, authorize the selectmen to apply, uh, accept and expend from the following uh, categories of funds. Okay. C, to authorize a selectman to carry forward unencumbered uh, surplus. Is there a, a motion to approve Article 3? Mr. Moderator, I move to accept Article 3 as written. I second it. Okay. Uh, Article 3 has been moved and seconded. Discussion on Article 3? All in favor of Article 3? All opposed? Article 3 is passed. Okay, Article 4. Uh, to see if the town will vote to approve the following. A, to uh, authorize the tax collector to the tax collector or treasurer to accept prepayments of taxes not yet committed. B, to authorize the selectman to accept easement deeds. C, to authorize the selectman to accept unconditional and conditional gifts of money or property. I'm, I'm briefly summarizing these, as you can see. So, uh, is there a motion to approve Article 4? Mr. Moderator, I move to accept Article 4 as written. And I second. All right, any discussion on Article 4? All in favor of Article 4? All opposed? Article 4 is passed. Thank you very much. Now we're going to move on to the... <coughs> 
money items there. Okay. Article 5, to see what sum the town will vote to raise and appropriate for general government program expenses. There, is there a motion to approve Article 5? Mr. Moder Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to raise and appropriate $2,313,526 for general government program expenses. Second. Okay, motion has been made and seconded to approve uh, Article 5 with the amount requested at $2,313,526. Motion has been made and seconded on Article 5. Discussion on Article 5? Uh, Mr. Moderator, I move to amend Article 5 and add $17,118 to make the overall total $2,330,644, which will bring the overall increase up to $138,001. Okay, uh, there's a motion to amend, and so we're going to first vote on the motion to amend, and if that passes, we'll vote on the motion uh, as amended. Uh, if it fails, we'll go back to the uh, original. Is there a seconder? I think she wants to know why. Okay, uh, hold on. We'll, we'll, we'll get. Let, let's just get a seconder. On is it has it been seconded? Okay. The motion has been made and seconded to amend Article Five to increase the amount, as I understand it, uh, Mr. Briggs, by thirty uh, from seventeen thousand. The, the thirty-four thousand. Thir the compensation uh, increase it to a number of thirty-four thousand two hundred thirty-six dollars. Do you want to explain your uh, right? Yeah. I I wish to. Um, let everyone know that I believe this is a needed adjustment to the selectman salary. You know, we have good people working for the town and we give them an annual increase of 3%. But if you're making forty or fifty thousand dollars a year, three percent is a significant amount of money. But if your salary for the year is three thousand three hundred dollars, your three percent of that is so small it doesn't hardly show up and over time because of the disparity of salary base this gets wider and wider and wider apart so this is my uh, proposal to make this uh, amendment to the uh, article 5 to try and help correct this problem okay um, okay the motion has a mo thank you mr. Briggs if you would a motion has been made and seconded to amend Article 5 to increase uh, the select board salary uh, to a total of $34,236 as opposed to the um, Budget Committee's recommendation and Board of Selectmen rec recommendation of $17,118. It, it therefore increases the amount requested from $2,313,526 to $2,330,000 thousand dollars six hundred forty four dollars I just want to make sure everybody's clear on the numbers anybody else want to be heard on the amendment sir you want to come forward and uh, thank you <coughs> say your name and uh, yeah my name is Bill Dugan I live at 14 Whittemore Lane um, I first heard about this this initiative um, a day or two ago, and I asked, well, when was the last time the selectman uh, stipend was raised? And nobody knew the answer. Uh, we've had some line serving people years. on here, and nobody knows when it was raised the last time. Um, I also asked when the selectman said, well, how much work do you do? How much time does it take to be a selectman? He said, um, on a, typically it's about 20 hours a week. There's, you have to prepare for meetings, you be at the meetings, um, a lot of phone calls in a, in a busy week. If there's you can a, move a little closer to the microphone. Sure. If there's a busy week and there's a lot of, um, as a contentious issue, probably 30 hours a week. It's not an easy job. For having said all that, if you look at the town, there's a lot of, it, I think it's a very well-run town. We see property values rising. We see a lot of new construction in town. People want to move here. And over and above that, we have the lowest mill rate in the state. All signs to me of a very well-run town, very much for this, this initiative. 
Thank you. Thank you. Further comments on the amendment? You come forward, please. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mary Beth Gilbert. Um, so I recently was on the budget board, and I just want to bring attention to the town, uh, the people of the town, of the process that was gone through for the budget board, for the budget for this year, with the select board, with the town managers, with all the director of the departments, and with the budget board itself. So there are increases that all the directors brought forward for their people. Um, for increases for salary. There was increases put into the budget for um, salaries that had to be updated uh, to attract the right talent into the different groups. So that's already incorporated into the current budget. As far as you know, going for a raise for the select board itself, um, I think that would be something that we would want to put in next year's budget if we so true chose so that it could go through the full due diligence of the process. Um, in campaigning for the budget board um, or for the select board, I just want to um, bring some voices to the microphone that I heard on knocking on doors. And I've heard this many times from many people, uh, the opposite, saying that this is a very affluent town, that the mill rate is low, that people are doing basically great. What I've heard from a number of people is that's not the case. There's a lot of people just trying to get by. So I just uh, want to do due diligence whenever we talk about money, anything that we relate to taxes, and make sure that something can be fully vetted you know, through the process that the town currently has. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, further comments on the amendment? Yep. Sir, come forward. I'm Dan Beard. And I have a question for this, any one of you. If you figured out your pay per hour <laughs> on the job that you do on a normal, call it 20 hour a week, what are you getting over the course of a year? Well, Dan, of course the answer is we don't do this for the money. I, I agree with that. But what's it really boiled down to when you put your time in? I was on the school board for six years, years ago. I have an idea of what you're dealing with. But realistically, what's it paying you to give the service to the town that you as a group do? It pays my property taxes. That was, that's about it, but I'm sure for the others that that's probably not the case. That's You're about better it. off than a lot That's of about it. But again, realistic. one of the things that's happened, and, and you know, I, I probably will vote for this, but as you all know, I'm leaving the board. So you know, I don't have a dog in this hunt, if you will, <laughs> anymore. But one of the reasons that I chose to leave the board was that I couldn't keep up with the work anymore. I'm self-employed. I'm a lobsterman, if you don't know. Um, you know, it's a, it's a very time-consuming operation. You're, you know, I spend as much time on land working on things as I do hauling my traps. And, at the end of the day, I couldn't keep up with it, so I chose to leave. So, so it's a lot of work. It isn't, you know, and, and I think Mary Beth understands that, and I wish to congratulate her uh, on her victory. And, you know, so, but nobody does it for the money. So no. th this, this is a make yourself feel good kind of thing here. It's, nobody's going to quit because they got the same salary. And I would have, if I had the time, I would have run and I would have done it for free. One of the things that nobody knows, and I'm going to bring this out in the public, is during the pandemic, you know, at the early, early days, we were all scared as hell, every one of us. And don't lie and say you weren't. Um, you know, we didn't know what would happen. I remember asking the chief if we had enough ammunition just in case things really really went bad. I mean, worst case scenario. I mean, that's the Stephen King novel reader in me. Uh, but one of the things that we thought was we might have to cut employee salaries. It's something that was discussed. And one of the things that we all agreed as a board is that if we had to cut them 1%, we would all go with no salary for the year because we wanted to show solidarity. So this is a make you feel good thing. You know, vote for it because you want to make, you, you believe in the selectmen, or don't vote for it. it. It won't make any difference to the four members who are going to be here behind me. Okay. Well, but I appreciate the gesture, and, I, and it is one of the things that I've often thought about. If you did it for the money, you'd go broke. 
Well, speaking as one of the four members that will be here, uh, uh, I, I very much appreciate the sentiment of the town uh, that I've heard in terms of increasing the pay, but I would uh, uh, strongly support uh, uh, Ms. Gilbert's uh, contention that there is due process, uh, and this is something that I would I will vote against now simply uh, in the hope that uh, it would be brought uh, through the normal procedure and I would want anyone to, who voted against it to know that that would be my assumption of the reason and nothing but that further comments sir yeah, hi my name is David James uh, to put this I, I know that you guys don't haven't volunteered for this job because you have the money you do it because you David, want. David, you just move a little closer. The rain. Is you you want. Drowning. You do it because you want to support the town, the people that live here, and make it a wonderful place to live. But just for the fun of it, I went through and calculated what are you making per hour, and you know it's debatable as to many how many hours a month you may spend. We know there's two two meetings a, a, a month. Uh, and there are always at least two hours, so there's four hours a month right there. But all the off-time off things that you do. So I went through, and with the current budget, let's assume that uh, you're spending uh, 20 hours a month on town things. Uh, that boils down with the current budget to $7.14 an hour. Okay, we increase the budget by up to 34236 20 hours a month now becomes $14.25. So you're still not really meeting minimum wage requirements. It makes hardly any difference whatsoever to the tax mill rate. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe a half a cent or something like that. I didn't see the exact calculation. Uh, well, to put it in Lori perspective, can... they're paying $17.95 to start at Dairy Queen in Kennebunk. I saw the sign at the drive through yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, anyway, I strongly support this as a move. I went back and looked at the 2010 annual report, and it was a little over $12,000 budget compared to $17,000 today. So it went 13 years, it's moved from $12,000 to $17,000. That's hardly keeping up with the rate of inflation. Thank you. Thank you. I see a comment. You want to come forward, sir? I'm Jim Stockman for Woodlawn Avenue. I'd like to just call the question. Okay. Um, we're we're going to have a, a motion that's been made to call the question. Is there a second on that? Second. Uh, it's not debatable. All in favor of calling the question signify by raising your cards. Okay. Uh, all opposed? Okay. So we're going to now vote on the amendment. If the amendment passes, then we'll vote on the article as amended. It's a two-step process. If the uh, amendment fails, then we'll just vote on the article as originally written, unless somebody makes another amendment. <laughs> okay, so um, any, seeing no further discussion, and, and, and we, uh, the question has been moved uh, to uh, vote. Uh, all in favor of Article 5 uh, as written, signify by raising your cards. As amended. As amended um, I'm sorry. All in favor of Article 5 as amended, and everybody knows what the amendment is to add the additional funds, signify by raising your cards. Okay. Thank you. All opposed? Okay. Um, well, we're going to take this. Could you raise your cards? All in favor? Yeah. yeah. All in favor of the amendment, raise your hands. And keep of the amendment. It's too close to, I need the, the clerk's help on, on the count here. On the amendment, all those in favor of the amendment, keep your hands up. And in a second, I'll ask all are opposed. It's, it's, it's very close. Maybe it's not as close as I think, but we'll find out in a second. Everybody understands that we're voting on the amendment, right? 30, okay. Okay. All opposed to the amendment. Mr. Moderator, we have people voting twice. I'm sorry? That woman there has held her card up for both you, occasions. You, you can only put, you vote one time. 
Okay, I want to be super clear. We're voting on the amendment, whether to increase the salary of the selectmen. If you're in favor of that, raise your hand. If you're not in favor of it, raise your hand when I say, uh, if, you, if you're opposed. Okay, thank you for, okay, all those opposed, go ahead and raise your hands again. In favor again. Thank you for I could call for a written ballot, but. <laughs> Okay, um, the vote is 30 in favor of the amendment and 24 opposed the amendment. So now we're going to go forward and vote on the article as amended. Everybody with me? Okay, it sounds, it sounds crazy, but I think this is the right way to do it. Um, so um, any further discussion on the article as amended? Seeing none, all is in favor of the article as amended signify by raising your hands. Okay, let's do the vote. Do the count again. It'll probably be the same number, but <laughs> you never know. Yeah, it's a whole article. Okay, okay uh, lower your hands. All those opposed to the article, uh, the article as amended, uh, raise your hand. Okay, thank you. Um, the, the vote is 35 in favor of the article as amended, 12 opposed. The article as amended is passed. Article 5 as amended is passed. Thank you very much for that. Um, moving right along to Article 6. Uh, to see what sum the town will vote to raise and appropriate for public safety program expenses. The amount requested on that is $3,389,796. Is there a motion to approve Article 6? Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to raise and appropriate the $3,389,796 for public safety program expenses. Okay, so you've moved to, to um, that the town raise and appropriate the amount uh, requested. Okay, that motion has been made and seconded uh, to approve Article 6 uh, with that figure. Is there discussion on Article 6? Don't be bashful. Okay. Um, Seeing no discussion, article, uh, all those in favor of uh, the passage of Article 6 at the amount requested, uh, signify by raising your blue cards. Thank you very much. Uh, all, any opposed? Okay, Article 6 passes at the amount requested. Article 7, to see what sum the town will, ro will vote and raise to appropriate for health and welfare program expenses. The amount requested is $827,319. Is there a motion? Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $827,319 for health and welfare program expenses. Okay, the motion has been, the motion has been made and seconded to approve Article 7 at the amount requested. Um, is there discussion on Article 7? Any comments, questions, anything? Okay, all in favor of Article 7 at the amount requested. Thank you. All opposed? Article 7 passes. Article 8, to see what sum the town will vote to raise and appropriate for the public works program expenses. The amount requested is $1,561,060. Is there a motion? Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $1,561,060 for public works program expenses. Motion has been made and seconded to approve Article 8 uh, at the amount requested. Uh, is there a discussion on Article 8? Questions? Anything on Article 8? Seeing none, all in favor of Article 8? Thank you. Any oppo all opposed? 
Article 8 passes. Okay, getting some momentum here. Article 9, to, to see what sum the town will vote to raise and appropriate for recreation, culture, contingency, and miscellaneous program expenses. The amount requested is $680,214. Motion on Article 9. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $680,214 for recreation, culture, contingency, and miscellaneous program expenses. Okay, motion has been made and seconded to approve Article 9 at the amount requested. Uh, discussion on Article 9. Seeing none, all in favor of Article 9 signify by raising your blue cards. Thank you. All opposed? Article 9 is passed. Okay. Article 10. To see what sum the town will vote to raise and appropriate for capital expense and reserve account and debt service payments. The amount requested is $3,557,280. Is there a motion to approve Article 10? Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $3,557,280 for capital expense and reserve account and debt service payments. Okay, motion has been made and seconded to approve Article 10 at the requested amount. Discussion on Article 10? Please come forward, uh, say your name, and make your comments. Robin Phillips. Um, I just have a, a question. I don't know if there's more detail in these budget booklets, but um, the special projects, the miscellaneous uh, 285,000, it's gone, you know, it's gone up 250,000. Could I have a general idea of what that is for? Does anybody want to take that? Special projects, miscell <laughs> miscellaneous. It's uh, up at the top under special projects. Oh, under administration? No. No, no, on page 19. Yeah. On page 19. Like special projects. Oh, the 535,000 total. Um, it says miscellaneous, 285. Yep. And it was yep. 285 last yep. year, this yep. year 535. Going up 250. So yep. what, what is that for? So that includes the purchase of automated bins for waste collection. It includes um, replacement of light fixtures for the street lights. It in, and then lastly, it includes a design to deal with um, Ocean Avenue flooding. So to look at what we need to do to improve the drainage and height of the road on Ocean Avenue by Wanby Beach. Okay, and another question I have on this article is the, um, the village parcel principle, like, so we're paying more now, is that what that is? Did you just re re come a little closer and rephrase that? So. I'm just wondering, I'm looking at the, uh, the village parcel we have chosen to pay more or is it just the way the loan it's is? It's just the way the payments are. So the village parcel payments are laid out in our debt service schedule and that's just what the payment would be this year. Okay, thank you. Further comments, questions? Okay. Um, so that, that, we have one from the audience. Oh, oh, if you could come forward again. I'd just like to add a little color to Robin's question, just for the um, uh, people here today um, that may have not went through the budget committee with the select board and, and Lori in the town. So um, one of the biggest things that we grappled with for the budget when we looked at some of the big hitters to increase um, was this um, uh, purchase of the garbage bins, which is a required thing that we need to do because it's an automated process that we have to go through. Um, so I think under the guidance of our chairperson on the budget board, we had great conversations with the select board um, in efforts to keep the mill rate down as, as best as possible. The select board went back with the town manager, came back with different ways to increase revenue so that we could keep uh, the budget that you see here and fund the stuff that we needed to. Um, and they also did come back with a way to fund, uh, or Lori did uh, a way to fund the expense of coming up with these bins, which was a, a lease versus the, the one-time payment. 
the one-time payment is what's in here. And that was, but a, that was voted on by both the select board and the budget board. And both boards, um, there was some, you know, it was a 3-2 vote on the select board and it was two people voted against it um, on the budget board. So I just wanted to bring that to color uh, because it was something big, but there was a lot of due diligence done by both boards. Thank you. Thank you. Any further, th further comments, questions on Article 10? Okay. Um, we'll call for a vote now. All in favor of Article 10, signify by raising your blue cards. Thank you. All opposed? Uh, Article 10 is, is passed as requested. Okay. Now we're going to move on to Article 11 to see if the town will vote in it to appropriate $3,705,979 from estimated non-property tax revenues, $200,000 from undesignated fund balance, and $600,000 from capital projects reserve account to reduce the property tax commitment. Is there a motion to approve Article 11? Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to appropriate the sum of $3,705,979 from estimated non-property tax revenues, $200,000 from the undesignated fund balance, and $600,000 from capital projects reserve account to reduce the property tax commitment. Okay, a motion has been made and seconded to approve Article 11. Um, discussion on Article 11. Please come forward and say your name again. <laughs> Robin. Robin Phillips. Um, this is just, uh, I see at the end of this sheet there's a um, sale of town property for 20000 What is that sale? The sale would be um, equipment as we replace equipment. We'll sell the old equipment and that will become a revenue. So property doesn't mean Pro land. Not, not real estate property, yeah, yeah. just equipment property. Okay, thank you. For the questions, comments on Article 11. Okay, pretty good. All in favor of Article 11 signify by raising your blue cards. Thank you. All opposed? Article 11 is passed. Last but not least, Article 12. To see if the town will vote to ratify the selectman's acceptance of a gift of a new 2526 something Monarch pumper with a 1,500 gallon per minute pump and a thousand dollars, thousand gallon water tank. The truck is equipped with foam system and a 30 gallon foam cell. I don't think I need to read all that. You can get all the, the statistics and details about the equipment. Um, by reading what's in front of you. So, uh, is there a motion to approve Article 12? Mr. Moderator, I move to accept Article 12 as written. And okay. I'll, sec I'll second it. Thank you very much. A motion has been made and seconded to approve Article 12 as written. Uh, is there a discussion on Article 12? Last chance. Okay. Uh, seeing none, uh, all in favor of Article 12? Thank you very much. Um, all opposed? Article 12 is, is approved and passed. Thank you so much for working through all, the, all of these. I think there's uh, some more things that are going to happen, right, Tracy? Thank you. All right. We're going to give this to the guy. Okay. Okay. Oh. Thank you, Gerald. Uh Could I have the Board of Selectmen and Laurie please join me at the podium? Watch the cords. All right. All right. It, 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 it's my microphone on. David. I think I don't really need one. Testing. There we go. All right. At this time, um, we'd like to present the Spirit of America Award. Um, so, could I have um, Kai Leffler please join me at the podium? <laughs> Thank you, Kai. Uh, the Spirit of America Award is presented to local individuals, organizations, and projects um, 
for commendable community service. It celebrates the spirit of giving back to our community through volunteerism. A perfect example of this spirit is found in Kai Leffler. Kai, or Catherine Leffler, is well known for her deep commitment to her community. In addition to her busy schedule as a realtor for Coldwell Banker, she and her husband Bill are deeply passionate about supporting and giving back to their community. She has served on the budget board since 2009 and was a longtime member of the Shade Tree Committee from 1998 to 2015, a cause that she truly loved and was devoted to during her many years on that committee. Kai does not just serve on these committees, but brings the same passion and drive that makes her successful in her professional efforts. While serving on the budget board, she was part of a subcommittee to create a new application form for nonprofits and a new process for the town to use to determine which groups they will contribute to. In addition to her civic contributions, she is also a member of the Kenny Bunk Portside Rotary Club, living by their motto, Service Above Self. The Kenny Bunk Port Board of Selectmen would like to recognize Kai Leffler with the 2023 Spirit of America Award. Signed this day, 17 June 2023, by the Kennebunkport Board of Selectmen. Kai, Kai wants to go singing in the rain. That's a beautiful uh, sentiment. Sentiment. Okay. Uh, last but not least, is there a motion to adjourn the meeting? Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor. Thank you. All opposed. Thank you very much for an excellent meeting.